Hello YouTube. Um, in this video I just wondered that maybe it would be uh, an interesting uh, information for you to know how you can plot a rectangular plot of your uh, let's say H, the magnetic field or magnetic flux density B uh, along a line. Um, that will be very useful particularly when you're using a coil or any systems that you want to know for example what will happen to the uh, magnitude of H or B when you uh, get distance from the center of the coil. So in this case I'm interested to know what will happen to B when I move from the center of the coil all the way up in the Y axis. Uh, right now I have a ready, ready setup that you should know by now how to make it and um, I'm, I'm trying to show that for you. And the other thing that I was also going to show you is how to create um, a, a cross section or a, or a section for a surface with an offset uh, with the global uh, uh, coordinate system. So if you try to, for example, do um, the, uh, the surface um, while the global system is selected here, uh, what will happen is your se your your selection would be um, all in the middle of the global se section, but you cannot get the offset. I'm interested to know what's the field look like in like 150 millimeters away from this coil. So uh, that needs me to ha basically introduce a surface uh, for for that location. So I'm going to show you how to do these two things. Let's go first for uh, defining uh, uh, a line that actually I want to go and check the B uh, across that line. It's very simple. What you do is you create a line. Uh, I'm going to create a line. It says that your simulation will be invalidated. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I will go ahead with that. Um, so <clears throat> I create a line from the center all the way up to where I want to basically measure. Um, I can press tab and on, as you can see in the below I can go and say I want to go all the way to 300 uh, millimeters or like that should be okay and then press OK with that. Okay so now I have a line I'm gonna press right click and done. So I have a line <coughs> that I can call it um, central um, line for example uh, a line that is uh, going from the middle of my coil all the way up to a distance of 30 centimeters. And um, I'm pressing OK on that. And now it's very simple to, uh, to see the result for that. What you do is you go on results and right click on that and then you go to create field report and then rectangular plot. Over there you can go into the geometry and select the central line that you just created. Uh, from there, you can actually pick whatever uh, that you want to see. Uh, I, I, I've run an uh, electromagnetostatic simulation, so I can get like HBJ or energy and uh, so on and so forth. So I'm going to plot, for example, the magnitude of H along this line. And as you can see, um, it will create for you this magnitude, beautiful plot that shows that, yes, I have a maximum amount of H at the center of my coil and then I will it will drop all the way when it comes to 300 uh, millimeter distance. Okay cool. Now what the other thing that I was going to show you is how to create sorry uh, how to create a, a surface on the top of that so so you can actually see the magnitude the, the magnetic field on that. So to do that, I'm going to show you how to make it like the opposite side to, for example, um, a negative uh, 150 uh, millimeters away uh, on the Y axis. So the normal of the surface will be Y. So let's go and create that. To do that, first I have to create uh, offset uh, origin. So to do that, I cl uh, click on the origin. I click on the offset origin and then I go and click on the origin that I have. Now you can uh, press Y and go down to the point that you want or you can actually go and say I want to go to minus 150 uh, Y and 0 Z. Okay, That will create you another uh, system of um, coordinate system with the offset of 150 millimeters down.
Okay, now that this system is selected, as you can see here, I have this nice uh, XYZ axis uh, connected to that point. Now I can go and um, select my uh, air, the, 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 uh, the box air that I have, and I'm running all of my simulation inside that. And then I go to the modeler and then surface section and of course the section would be X and Z so I will go and say I want to have a section of this air at this point in the X and Z uh, surface plane so there we go you have this and now you can right click on that and say you know what I want to see the magnitude of H in this surface uh, inside the air and uh, Yeah, okay, so that's that's fine. Um, I haven't yet run, ran the simulation, so you have to run the simulation, and then you can see the plot result for that. Okay, um, I think that was basically it. Um, I don't think I can see my result on the other surface. Oh, yeah, it does have the other surface result yet. Um, it will still keep the other surface result, but it, it has to create a new one for this one. So you can basically see a plot like this, and you can manipulate the plot as I've shown you before in the, in the previous tutorials. So I hope that this tutorial is uh, informative for you and you um, enjoyed it. Have a great day.